looking a little confused. It's because I had lost the piece of paper where I had written down all the announcements I was supposed to make and was trying to remember the announcements, and I got most of them. I left out a couple. So one that I um, forgot to announce is in the building across from us are two virtual reality um, experiences. One is a cave that does five or six people at a time for about a 10-minute show about the Olympics and what things look like. So it's a wonderful 3D fly-through of the original Olympic Stadium. And those are running pretty much all day. So if you get there and identify yourself as a, someone from the conference, they'll do it. Then on a regular basis, roughly every hour, um, there's a much larger virtual reality um, experience in the large dome. So they asked me to announce that you folks are invited and should feel free to go over there and do that as long as you don't do it during Nasha's talk. Um, so that's the one I forgot. I also forgot one thanks, which is a very important one, and I'm really sorry. It's that uh, George Vias and the Omega team of Pantheon University did most of the organizing of the poster session, getting the things up, getting the titles, doing the printing. So let's give, I don't know if he's here, but let's give George a. Okay. Um, we sent mail to all the people who presented papers at the conference, uh, asking you to please send us your slides. So if you didn't get that mail, either look for it or let one of the conference organizers know and we'll put you in touch with the right person. Uh, tonight, the bus is back to the hotel. We'll be leaving 15 minutes after the scheduled end of remarks. Well, after, I'm sorry, after the actual end of remarks. It's currently scheduled for uh, 6.30, 18.30. So that's when the main buses will go back. If the remarks are going long, in theory, they're going to give us more time before the bus. And then the other one is just, uh, you know, I've, I've been mentioning to people throughout the days how, how much buzz we seem to be getting. Between noon and 1 p.m. today, the tag hashmark website 09 was one of the top 10 most Twitter tags in the whole Twitter system. So you're doing a great job. Keep it up. <laughs> And those are my announcements. Now, um, to make a couple more announcements and to introduce our speaker, I'd like to bring back uh, Nigel Shadbolt, who gave the first keynote. Okay, and for those of you who are worrying that we are eating into valuable uh, speaker time, um, the uh, brilliance of the program team is that they have left a quarter of an hour between 2.30 and the uh, uh, beginning of the paper sessions, which I propose to fill with good things rather than just standing about. So uh, when Nosha speaks, he's going to get his half hour, and there will also be some question time after that. And then we'll move directly on to the paper sessions, uh, commencing at quarter to three. Um, a, few, a few announcements. Re really, this is partly a... Um, uh, a reinforcement of, of, of what I think is a real feel-good factor. When we kind of announced this conference, we didn't know who would actually show up, and we didn't actually know whether it would be the right mix of individuals and disciplines. Uh, I have a great test of, uh, of, of whether things are working. It's actually the noise level on the bus going back to the hotel. Believe me, I've been in buses where no noise is made whatsoever. Uh, they're not the conferences you want to go to, okay? Um, there's just a real feeling of excitement. And so to that end, um, a natural uh, question is, well, what next? Um, and you don't lose momentum when you've created something like this. Now, in a normal course of events, a conference that has got a bit of history is planning the next conference ahead. We are certainly planning for a next conference, and so we want to share that process with you. We don't want to decide exactly now when and where, but it will not be more than 18 months from now and could be as little as a year from now. And it will be somewhere, and it will be in the spirit of this conference. And we will commit to making that decision within a couple of months. Now, to that end, we'd like to solicit from this community and more widely 
proposals. We'll put the details on the website at websciences.org. We're going to call for two-page proposals that outline the when, where, and why, estimations of costs, and a size estimation. We're calling for volunteers to help us organize the next one. And a key feature will be a set of criteria that we observe to have been important because they're the reason this one has succeeded. We want a good international location. It fundamentally has to be an interdisciplinary team organizing this. We want to keep the costs down. Keeping costs down is important for all sorts of reasons, but it allows all the communities to participate. We want a strong local organizing committee. That's why this has worked so well too. So keep your eyes open on our websciences.org website. There'll be a core process very shortly and we will determine um, from the proposals we get, we'll try and come up with something that fits the community's interests. So I think it's important to give you a sense that this isn't a one-shot wonder. This is, there's too much, as it seems to me in talking to people, there's a real belief that this was the right set of communities to bring together. Okay, the other thing I want to say is, uh, is what a privilege it is to be introducing our next invited speaker, keynote. Professor Noshir Contractor is the Jane S. and William J. White Professor of Behavioral Sciences in the School of Engineering, School of Communication, and the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University. Now that tells you something immediately about Nosh. He is in his DNA an interdisciplinarian. He works across multiple disciplines, and this is attested to not least when you look at his CV and biography. He holds a first degree in electrical engineering from the Institute of Technology in Madras, Chennai. Okay, so this is an electrical engineer who then did a PhD at the Annenberg School for Communication at the University of Southern California, where he became interested in the whole issue of social networks and knowledge management. And indeed, Nosha's extreme knowledge in this area we're going to hear about today. I was uh, uh, fascinated and intrigued by a talk uh, he gave in Oxford uh, uh, just last year on, uh, on his work. It was in the context of an e-social sciences workshop. And it just seemed to me this would be an excellent, an excellent um, contribution to our web science uh, conference this year. And we worked, uh, I think, uh, uh, very diligently to, to get Nosh here. He gets it, okay? He's also a decent bloke who has more frequent flyer miles than even Dame Wendy Hall. So, uh, in fact, he has, a, he has a black card for those who are into these things, uh, which gives him all sorts of privileges, um, and I'm sure his carbon footprint's interesting as well. Um, he's a great collaborator. He's presented uh, over 250 research papers. His book with Peter Monge on uh, theories of communication networks is being translated widely. It's been voted uh, a book of the year. He really can communicate the importance of his work. He's received continuous funding over a decade from NSF, NASA, National Institute of Health. He fits the bill. And his interest, I think, as we'll see, his research is at the very heart of what we're trying to understand in web science. It's my great pleasure and privilege to introduce Nosh Contractor. Oh, there you go. That's it by design. Thank you very much, Nigel. Thank you for uh, this entire conference for giving me an opportunity to come out here and uh, be a part of this group. It's a little disquieting to see this complete darkness out there, but I'll, 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 Im I'll imagine things in my head about what I'm supposed to be seeing out there. Um, anyway, it's, it really is a thrill to be here, and um, I, I, I've been learning a lot over the last couple of days, and I'm hoping that by continuing to engage with this community, I'm going to hear, learn a lot more in, in, the next, um, in the next year and beyond that as we welcome the second Web Science 2009, uh, 2010 conference, I guess it would be, right? 